What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One Eye Bri back from the PT channel to talk about Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 and if this character is coming back. Obviously, spoiler warning, as of Season 4, Episode 8, the mid-season finale, I don't want to ruin anything for you because we're going to talk about the mid-season finale, what we saw, and maybe some predictions or theories for the second half of Season 4. And if you don't know what we're talking about and you don't want to know, stop watching now. But I love The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead Universe, how about you? Become a member of our Walking Dead family here at the PT channel by hitting that subscribe button. It's easy and I hope you do. Now the big thing about the mid-season finale, besides Madison's death, is this box right here. It's a blink and you'll miss it type moment. But there look to be two tapes that are pretty interesting. Now we talked about one tape already about the Abraham and Dr. Eugene Porter tape, the Abe slash Dr. tape that we talked about in another video. It's right there at the end. Again, it's super quick in the episode. I wish they talked about it more. You had to kind of watch The Talking Dead to find out about it, which to me is pretty crappy that you have to watch another show to find out an Easter egg or what happened with Madison. Like some people are still wondering if Madison is still alive and having hope, but Madison is dead. They said it on The Talking Dead and a bunch of other places. But there is a good zoom in shot of it, Abe slash Doctor. So that's Abraham Ford and Dr. Eugene Porter. Abraham's gone, Eugene's still alive, but this tape was made way back when they were in Texas, before they got to Georgia, on to Virginia. When Abe was looking like this, Eugene was looking like that, they had the big military vehicle, probably the vehicles were going around and maybe Althea got the SWAT truck around the same time or something, and that would be pretty cool to see a flashback of that, maybe next season or down the road, but I doubt we'll see Abraham and Eugene on the actual video, but I would love to see Morgan watching the video and you hear them talking. You don't actually see the video, I think would be the best thing to happen in the second half of season four or beyond. But remember, Abraham and Eugene and Rosita, along with other characters that we didn't meet, were in Texas at some point. That's pretty cool. I would have loved for Abraham to have been the crossover character, but I can see what they're doing now with Morgan which looks to be the new lead. We'll talk about that at the end. But Althea and her SWAT truck look to be connecting the shows and some characters of Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead, and that's pretty cool. I would love to see more connections, and I hated the fact that the first three seasons were so against connecting, and then that showrunner got the boot, and now we're connecting the shows more and more. And I have to say, I love the connection with Abraham and Eugene. Maybe Rosita's in that video as well. That'd be pretty cool if we saw the video. I don't know if they would do it or not because Eugene and Rosita and Abraham look pretty different in real life right now, especially Michael Cutlass is doing another show, but we could see it. That'd be pretty awesome. But if you look into the box even more, we see some more tapes. The Abe slash Dr. Tape, we saw that when we talked about that. That's pretty cool, but there's some other tapes in there. There's a bunch of tapes in there, and it's kind of weird that they use tapes. I would think it would be digital, but we can see what's written on the tape, so it's easier to do that versus digital memory sticks. But if you look at more of the tape, I flipped the picture around a little bit, you can see a bunch of different tapes. You can see Killer TX, which is Killer Texas, the oil fields, Slim, and then at the bottom, you see a D, period, S, period. And that's the one I want to talk about besides the Jameson, Bartlett, and the other tapes I can't really make out. But the D, period, S, period. That could be Daniel Salazar. Who is Daniel Salazar? Well, Daniel from seasons one, two, part of three, we haven't seen him yet in four, is a character that I actually enjoy on this series. We haven't seen him in season four, but we did see him in season three. He was at the dam. We don't know if he survived or not. He may have died at the dam, but I believe the writers and the new showrunners of the show confirmed that Daniel will be seen this season. I think the tape would be the only way that we see him. He might have died at the dam, and we might see the actual video of Athea talking to Daniel, and maybe he didn't want to say his name. He just went by DS. So that's kind of cool if we actually see it. Now that Madison's gone, what's going to happen with the show? Is Daniel going to come back and help out? Is Morgan going to take the lead? Are we going to see Walker? Are we going to see some new characters? We just don't know. And a lot of people are pissed that Madison is dead. But if Daniel doesn't come back in some shape or form, whether it's on the video or what, that's a loose end. And we all know what Abraham said about loose ends. And I agree. But Daniel supposedly died in season two, the fire, 
but he survived. And the old adage in TV and film is that if you don't see it die, or you don't see a character die, they could still be alive. That's why people are holding out that Madison still lived, but there's a lot of things going around on Talking Dead, Instagram, and other little clips on AMC that Madison is dead. I mean, there's a farewell video on AMC.com if you wanna check it out. So they wouldn't have that unless she died. But what about Diana? I believe her name is Diana. The pickaxe girl that Alicia met at season three. Could she come back around? I hope so. I like that character. I think she was only in two episodes at most, but she was pretty entertaining to watch. She was pretty badass. She talked with Alicia. Alicia has a connection with this character. The character could come around. She could be part of a group. They could be good. They could be bad. Where is the story going to go in the second half of season four? Are we going to get a season five? Is Fear the Walking Dead going to merge with The Walking Dead at some point down the road? They say no, but it could still happen. They said that the crossover would never happen between two shows. Obviously, it did. So we could see what happens with these characters. As for Walker and Crazy Dog, I want them to come back in the second half of season four. At least one of them. And I want that to happen because I want to see what happens, the connections from season three to season four. And as of right now, they've done a pretty lackluster, crappy job of connecting season three to season four. And I think these two characters of Walker and Crazy Dog can bring a lot to the show going forward. But the word is that Morgan Lenny James, the actor who plays Morgan, may be the first name in the credits starring Lenny James. So he may be the new main character, the main lead of the show. Is that okay? Is that not okay? It's kind of crazy that he just comes in and takes over the team, takes over the show. And why not Alicia? Why not Nick? Oh, well, Nick wanted to leave. Why not Madison? Oh, they just killed Madison off. What are they doing here? So we got Morgan, John, Althea, and June, along with Strand, Madison, Luciana, and Charlie. That's our cast right now going into the second half of season four. I would love to get Walker and Crazy Dog back, maybe Daniel, maybe a new character, maybe something that brings some freshness to the show. And I know a lot of people are pissed about Madison leaving, but I think it's all right in my book. The John Morgan show, can it be good? Can it be boring? Can Morgan really carry a show with his all life is precious and doesn't want to fight and doesn't want to do that and then he gets clear mode and he gets crazy and he goes back to precious mode? What do we think? What can happen with Morgan being the lead? Is it stupid? Is it good? Only time will tell, but I want to know your thoughts, guys. Post your comments below. Ultimately, does Morgan bring John and Althea to Virginia in the SWAT truck back to The Walking Dead? Could happen based on the news for season nine of The Walking Dead if the two main cast members leave. What are they going to do? It could be crisis mode. They have to control everything and get people back to watching The Walking Dead, or is the damage going to be too much? Let me know your thoughts, guys. But what do you think? Is Daniel coming back? Is this the foreshadowing that we're going to see the tape of Daniel Salazar? DS? Could happen. I think so. I think the best thing that would be is that we get an answer one way or another. Daniel Salazar on a video talking to Althea and he actually died or something happened. Or maybe he's still out there and he could still come back. But I want answers. How about you guys? Let me know your thoughts post your comments below. But if you're new to the channel and you love the Walking Dead universe like we do, hit that subscribe button to the PT channel and become a valued member of our channel. We have prizes and giveaways coming up for our subscribers. With hard work, dedication, sacrifice, and belief, you can achieve your goals no matter what they are. Believe in yourself, never give up. If you can dream it, you can do it.